one. Yeah, this one here. Wipe it down first. So, we peel it like before. And then we do the matrix. I hope you don't break your back. Ugh. Come on. Nope. Move over. There we go. I got it. Oh, oh my back. That hurts. Now, to tuck it in. So, apply it with the soft part of my squeegee. This is the hard part to tuck it in. Oops. Okay, so um, we have finished our foil stuff. It's all gone. Yeah. And then here's more. And then more. A little more. A little bit more. But yeah. All that turned into this. I try to... I try to put them as close together as possible, but still, that's a lot of waste. Uh, oh well. Okay. Damn it. Okay. So, um, we finished that up. We still got a couple of panels to do, just four. Um, fortunately, we have a second. I'm kind of glad I bought two now. <laughs> I don't know. I, I wasn't sure if one was going to be enough, so I bought a second one. So that's what was left of the last one. It looked just like this one. That's how big it comes, and that's how much I was able to do with just one. It's a 24 by 24 inch, by the way. Uh, I got it on Amazon. So yeah. Um, now, something I wanted to point out is this. As you can see, this one turned out kind of messed up right here. Can't get this to go out. I think it's because I cut it. Now the question some of you might be asking is why did I cut it? That's a good question. The answer to that is that I heard, I'm not sure, but I heard that these stickers like these, I don't know about this one, maybe this one, maybe this one too, and this one. Those stickers, they, um, you take it, when you take the car to do emissions testing, uh, you might not pass the visual if those stickers aren't there. So what I heard, I don't know if it's true, probably not, but instead of worrying about it, uh, I decided to just cut around it so they're still visible, just in case, you know, don't want to. Don't really want to mess with it. I mean, look at this thing. That over there is carb legal. This is not carb legal. So when it comes time to do emissions testing, uh, I kind of already have to take some of the stuff apart from the car in order to pass. Cause I'm, I don't feel like paying like a uh, hundred plus dollars to do the emission stuff. So that's why I decided to cut around. So I'm gonna do that with the other ones and then hopefully they'll finish everything up. So the real question is why am I doing this? What's the point? Um, honestly, there's no, I guess there's a point. Uh, it's, I mean, this is that, that heat wrap material that's supposed to keep temperatures down and stuff. Usually people put it on the intake. Uh, headers, heat shield, that stuff. But that's not why I'm putting it on. I'm putting it on because of this. You see that right there? This part here is kind of whiterish compared to the rest. So you know, that's a nice deep color compared to that. So the hood, they kind of just sprayed around from the factory and then the middle part, they just, it's basically just overspray. Um, they didn't spray completely so that white spot's been bothering me, so I decided to just cover everything with the heat wrap foil. Because why not? So I started pre-cutting the rest to save time. 
and I've been using tape to kind of hold them in place. So it's like this. All right. Uh, I tried cutting this out, and it came out a little. I messed that up and I don't have enough to cut out another piece and redo it so we're just gonna fit it like this and hope for the best <laughs> Look at this mess. So, we're finally done guys. As you can see, uh, I still got some markings on this one. Here. Uh, those will come off. Yeah. Um, one thing left to do is to put back these uh, the jets, I guess. The water jets from the widget for the wood for the windshield wipers. Damn, I can't talk today. I think that's it guys. I'm done now. Hopefully the next job won't be as painful as today's was. Alright, bye guys. Now you know that ain't right. You know what I just noticed guys? My buddy club oil cap is missing the buddy club part. And it was held on by tape.